Hi everyone, welcome to this Revit family tutorial specific to the furniture industry. In this tutorial we will be learning to draw a hosted family. What, will, what we will be covering in this video, using reference planes to draw, learning how to create parameters, learning about the, the wall base template, using the split and trim extend commands. Let's begin. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our new for our templates. What we're going to do here is we're going to pick pick a suitable template. So for our uh, hosted families, we're going to pick a wall based generic wall based uh, template. So we're going to open that. So what you see first is um, a plan view of a wall. If we just switch to 3D, yeah, you can see the wall there, and uh, we'll just go back. Um, so placement side, what that is, is the side on which your piece will be drawn. In our case, it's going to be uh, wall art. So starting off, uh, if yours is the same, just go in, go into manage uh, project units and change the units I'm just going to minus in feet and inches we're just going to change that to millimeters and press ok so the thing we're going to do is uh, reference planes um, so we'll just set them up as as in previous videos ok so we have them set up um, we're going to stick in another another one Okay, so next thing we need to do is dimension them. And you see here, once when I go to click it, it's going to click it on the, the middle of the wall. And uh, what we want is to click it from the outside. So uh, we we'll just go up here. And we go to um, wall face. So you can see now it's picking the outside. So it just gives us a better, better dimensioning. So we'll just dimension them all at first. Um okay and then just press exit and then um we are going to we're going to set parameters for these just in case you need to change them after a while. So what we're gonna do is double click this and you'll see this open up with labels. I'm gonna click the new one and we're gonna go backboard height. Let me click OK. So you can see that that changes. It gives it a parameter, and it gives it the name as well. We'll we're, we're, we'll change that after a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to name the rest of them. Uh, new parameter. Okay, so this is going to be. We're just going to call it set height one, and this one is going to be set height. Two. And press OK. So once we've them done, we can, or we can add in. Uh, sorry, I forgot these. So we're going to add in more reference planes. Sorry. So we're gonna have some vertical reference planes, and uh, we'll just dimension them as well. So what I'm going to do now is just I'm going to equal them up. So you can see here they're two different numbers. We just click this middle one press equal you can see that both are equal from the center line uh, so then we're going to dimension the top one so we can get an overall figure or an overall dimension rather so same again we're going to give it a parameter I'm just going to say overall length um, so uh, we'll just add in two more for the wall art and just the same process, we just click there, click the middle, click the outside, and we'll equal it. And then an overall dimension. So we're just going to name this wall piece. Length. And then press OK. So we can add in more if we want after a while. But these are the, these will be the main ones that we'd need starting off. We'll just go into this tab up here, which is the family types. So we can see that all our 
uh, parameters that we have done. Starting off, uh, backboard height, we're probably going to just leave that at 15. Uh, overall length, probably leave it at, we'll say, 1500. Once we've all these in and click apply, you'll see in the background that they, they will change. Okay, so set height 1, we're going to go 15. Uh, set height 2, we're going to go uh, with 25. And the length of the piece, we are going to go 800. So we've all our dimensions in there that we want. And these are these can be changed at any time and uh just look in the background here once i click apply you'll see all the the whole image updating see there you go so now we have our um guidelines if you want so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our placement side so this is this here uh we're just going to draw our shapes onto it so once you click it and do you're not going to see it so just double click and it should show um so now we're looking face on uh what we're going to do is we're just going to set up some more reference planes so we're going to set the height height of the actual object we're going to set it from the ground so we're going to dimension that and then we're going to dimension the overall height of the piece so same again just double click give it a parameter so we're going to say uh, height from floor and then press ok and then we're just gonna go uh, same again with this one uh, height of wall piece now you can choose any name you want just whichever suits you it's all the same as long as you can recognize it and press ok same again we're just going to go into the family types and of course we can see our two dimensions here so uh, we're just going to tie this one up so i'm just going to put this 1900 uh height of the piece then we're going to make it uh we'll say 900 and then we press play and then press ok so here we have our outlines so what I didn't do that we should have two more. Um we'll just add them in very quickly. We're gonna dimension them. We'll give it an offset of we'll say hundred mil. So double click this one, go offset. Go here, uh you can see offset is ninety. So we are going to change that to 100, click apply. Okay, so we're just going to let this be the exact same. So we're just going to click offset and there it is. Okay, so first of all, we're just going, we're going to go to, we're going to create the background. We're going to create and uh we're just going to see if we're set on the right wall's edge yes yeah, so that's the right plane that we're drawing on there uh, we can excite it at so the first thing we're going to do is going to extrude i'm going to click rectangle i'm going to click on to this edge and bring it right the way down to the bottom right and we're going to click all the padlocks so it stays stays in shape okay so that's that done that's our background so we're going to we're just going to take a look at that in our 3d so there you can see it just changed the shade you can see that our backboard is there but you can see that it's in the wall a bit we just didn't set the depth so what we're going to do is going to go into you can't really see it in reference level for some weird reason i don't know but it does show up in the ceiling plan so you can see there's the piece we drew and uh it's on it's hopefully not constrained to anything no so it's just floating about there so what we're going to do is we're going to constrain that to if it doesn't sometimes it doesn't click but if you can just drag it thanks for watching part two of this video will follow in the next tutorial for more information on gmit letterfrag 
just go to their website, YouTube, Twitter and Facebook accounts.